Ijo Edas visits Buhari at Asorok declares support for one Nigeria. The National Executive Council of the Ijo National Congress paid a courtesy visit to President Muhammad Buhari at Asorok in Abuja on Thursday, 24th of June 2021. The media aid to President Buhari Femi Adeshino disclosed this on his Facebook page. The Ijo elders pledged their support for a united Nigeria. They dismisses the call for the division of country into different publics. The, visit, the visitors said Nigeria is better as one and our strength lies in our unity. They distanced themselves from the agitation for the Ijo Republic by some groups in Niger Delta. The elders also commended President Buhari for his commitment to developing the Niger Delta region. They said the president has done well for the country despite the numer nu numerous challenge facing his administration. In, this, in his remark, President Buhari thanked the Ijo National Congress for the visitation. He also thanked them for supporting his administration. Buhari said he will not relent in his efforts to develop the country and ensure the country remains united. President Buhari receives in court visit the National Executive Council of Ijo National Congress in the State House on the 24th of June. Hmm. Hey, Nigeria, where are we going to? If we that are agitating for something are not even united, then tell me how the agitation is even going to be possible because all we keep on hearing every day is this one did this, this one did that. And now as it is, even the Southeast, South South, all of them, they are not even united. If we don't even like each other, um, South East does not like each other. East and uh, the, uh, the Igbos, now the Igbos, the Niger Delta, this did that, this one did that. They are all propagandas, all of them. They are not even in one unity. So tell me how their, their agitation is going to become possible if them themselves are not even united. I thought they say united we stand divided we fall. But as it is, I think yeah, divided they are and I hope they don't fall. Now the Ijo people went to visit Buhari in Asorok. I don't really know if they are truly the Ijo um, elders or not. But hmm, as it is now, they've already um, stood their stand and already told Buhari that they are for one Nigeria. So as it is, it seems like since the bandits haven't, it seems like the bandit, the bandit has not reached a uh, portacot. That is why the Ijos are out on issue of them um, being united to this killer headsman government. Anyways, that is their own cup of tea. Since they said they want to continue being slaves to the government of Buhari administration, it is their problem. Or maybe they went there to deceive Buhari and collect money from him because they are broke. I still do not know. But them saying um, the Ijo's head has pledged their support to the United Nigeria mm. is that one I do not understand. Saying and, and they represent the whole of Ijo's and their strength lies in, uh, in their unity. That they will distance themselves from agitation. Who even asked them to join the agitation? Did um, Namdi Kano tell them that they are looking for a uh, hypocrite to join the Biafran group? No, no, no. They are not looking for hypocrites because they believe in their strength as one. And that is why they believe they can create their country on their own without hypocrites joining their league. So, if the Asian people say they stand for one Nigeria, I hope they are wish for one Nigeria come true because the Northerners are not making it easy for any Nigerians at all. They go about killing innocent people every day. They have they believe they own Nigeria and you are talking about one Nigeria. So I do not understand where you got your own Nigeria from because I don't think it is this very Nigeria you are talking about as a united Nigeria because we are not united at all. Because if we are united, then the president will not be partial when it comes to being fair in judgment. He judged the case of the southern people and the southeast and the uh, eastern people 
just the way he wants to judge it. But when it comes to the north, he keeps mute and acts as if he's deaf and not hearing anything that the northerners are doing. Just like the case of a 21-year-old girl who murdered um, a TV is um, that mother the tv ceo of um what is even called self okay let's talk about that one if the girl was a northerner would they parade the girl everywhere the way they are parading um the girl right now because everywhere on social media is the issue of the girl killing the man the girl did this did that did that she killed only one person and i think um, phone gone wrong was even the problem between the girl and the su um, the suspect and the victim. But as it is now, because she is not from the north, everywhere you go about, people are talking about the whole story and parading the girl as a criminal. Why there are bandits out there who are killing innocent people on a daily basis and no one is doing anything about it. So tell me, is this the one Nigeria they are preaching about? Those people should tell me something else. There is no one Nigeria anywhere. This Nigeria is already divided a long time ago. But people are making it look as if Nigeria is still one. We are no more one Nigeria. Buhari has already declared this country as a Fulani country already. So there is nothing anybody can do about it. The only thing we can do about it is if we are united to bring down Buhari from the government, that is the only way you can tell me we are one Nigeria. But as for now, tell me something else. Let's go to the comment section and see what people have to say about what the Ijos are saying. They are not true Ijo they are not true Ijo edas. They just want to fool the headsman and collect money from him. When you ensure the boundary, the Niger Republic cow has no say. Okay? So that's so that you guide pipeline for not <laughs> okay i think this one is referring to the Ijo people that since they said they are one nigerians they will go to the north and guide north pipeline okay because meal i don't really think there is any more one nigeria because if nigerians are still one like we were I don't really think everything that is going on in Nigeria now will be going on. I can remember in the time of good luck, Jonathan, if anything goes wrong, I remember how the cabals, all of them in the government house, they all come out and protest against that man, making his life miserable then, making his government ungovernable, according to Buhari's statements in the time of good luck in office. And now, in his own term, he does not even allow anyone to speak out their mind or say anything that is wrong. Whenever you speak in Nigeria now, they take your speech against you. There is no more freedom of speech in Nigeria because freedom of speech now can lead you to your grave. Anyway, you can go to the comment section and leave your comment on the issue of Ijo Edas going to the Asa Rock to visit President Momodou Buhari. Thank you for listening and God bless you.